You know, just plead the blood of Jesus. No, I can't plead the blood of Jesus over there. That stuff is accursed. And see, and what we got to understand when you're dealing with things with Belial, things that will draw you away, those things are set aside to do exactly what they've been set aside to do. How many times you seen a little penny on the ground? A little penny just go somewhere and whoosh, I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna cover it in the blood of Jesus and put it in my pocket. You're picking up a curse. People do that deliberately. Curse this thing. Well, whoever get it, they you know it. They're gonna have problems in their finances. But you see a lot of people do it with coins. And see, that's what I'm saying. You, we have to understand that the enemy, and you have to be careful sometimes even when people giving you gifts. You got to know the origin of why that person giving you a gift. You know they don't care too much about you. And then all of a sudden, oh, the Lord placed it place on my heart. I just want to give you this right here. No, you better be mindful. Why are they giving you that gift? See, what happened is they have prayed over that thing. And so whatever that they have prayed over that object that they gave you, whatever that they feel about you, now you and you take that thing, you put it in your house, you have opened up yourself to whatever that they want to speak to you, and that thing will happen. Prime example, I had one lady told me she had a phone, one of her church members, the lady, uh, couldn't afford to have a phone, so she told the lady, I get the phone on my line. And so whenever somebody, whenever the lady who she gave the phone for, whenever she used her phone to call somebody, the first church member picked up. You know, when the call ID, it would show like it's the first church member, and it wasn't her, but it was the second member who she had a second line for. And, see, and, what, and, she, and what she said she noticed was things start happening to her. So she started hearing different sounds in the house. And, you know, she said, you know what? It's going on. So she started experiencing all kind of warfare. And she was wondering, where is this warfare coming from? Because she, the Holy Spirit told her, when you get open up that second line with her, when, you, when she calls somebody, it looks like it's you. So in other words, by you coming into agreement with her, everything that she's fighting in the realm of the Spirit, it starts fighting that lady. And what happened was, it caused the other lady to start backing up. What in the world? What's going on? Not even realize it was all because she got somebody's phone number put up under her. Just through a, a simple phone line. And see, the thing is, you may think it can't be that deep. But you got to think about it. Can you see Holy Spirit? Nope. Can you see the demon? Nope. See, all of it is a spirit. How many times you walked in the store or you got off the phone, you was talking to somebody? And you were feeling good. You got off the phone with that person. Now you feeling depressed. A spirit just transferred from them to you. And now you feeling bad. And what happened was a spirit transferred. So that spirit had been deposited on you. And see the sad thing is when things transfer to us. And we don't know that it's been transferred. You just thinking that something is different from you. And it's not. And see, because you got to think about Belial is trickery. You got to be able to discern, okay, what's up with that? What's your motive? Oh, I mean, you know, sometimes somebody wants to just come and just dump some stuff on you. Okay, what's really the motive why you dump that on me? And you have to. And you have to. Because if not, if you continue to be a trash can, they're going to always do that to you. And they'll say, oh, I feel so much better. And I know you do because you just dumped your mess on me. Now understand that he's saying, cash all your cares upon me because I care for you. He ain't say call your friend and just dump the stuff. You know, I can see somebody just saying, you know, girl, I need you to pray for me. Or man, I need you to pray for me because I'm going through. Pray. Now that's a different thing. But when you just call, just tell me, girl, this is what happened. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I'll talk to you later on. That's an assignment. And I even got a friend. She called me and was something to wrong. I don't even hear words she's saying. I'm like, okay, I'll call you back. Because it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. And I'm like, that's crazy. 